Is the electric car revolution finally in full swing? That is the question we will be exploring in this video. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers for a better, more sustainable world. So subscribe to the channel and get the latest update regarding engineering, renewable energy, and sustainability. Now, on the 18th of April 2016, Netherlands moved a resolution in its parliament to ban the sales of petrol and diesel cars by 2025. While this motion did not show instant result in the country itself, but it became a catalyst for electric car revolution elsewhere. A little north of Netherlands, on the 4th of June 2016, it was announced by Norway that petrol and diesel cars ban will come into effect by 2025. Despite its extremely cold weather, which is not conducive for electric car batteries, this step was taken. The Norwegians are very conscious about their ecological footprint and therefore almost 25% of Norway cars are already electric. In October 2016, Germany imposed a similar ban but by the year 2030. Nonetheless, this was a very brave decision by the German government as the country is the hub of car manufacturing in Europe. The car lobby is very strong and the decision required a strong resolve. In other countries, the car sale ban only affected customers. In Germany, it would affect both the customers and the car manufacturers. And therefore, it is a commendable step by the German government. The most surprising entry to this club of countries paving way for electric cars was India, which announced the stoppage of the sales of all petrol and diesel cars by the year 2030. It should be noted that India would need the biggest transformation in infrastructure for accommodating electric vehicles, and yet the country did not shy away from this bold decision. A month later, after India's announcement, on the 6th of July 2017, France banned all internal combustion engine car sales by 2040. Moving on, in September 2017, the Scottish government also banned the sale of ICE cars by 2032. The Scottish government generally remains a step ahead of the UK government when it comes to measures relating to renewable energy and sustainability. It should be noted that the UK government had earlier announced that it would ban the sales of new gasoline and diesel cars, but the deadline given was the year 2040. Furthermore, Austria, Denmark, Ireland, Japan, Portugal, Korea, and Spain all have set official targets for electric car sales. The United States doesn't have a federal policy, but at least eight states have set out their own goal for increasing electric vehicle sales. China, which is the biggest market for all cars, including electric vehicles, has recently shown intent in banning ICE cars. China currently accounts for more than 40% of the electric cars sold in the world and more than double the number of cars sold in the US. The leaders in China want to curb the country's growing appetite for imported oil and see electric cars as a promising industry in which their country can take the lead. Directives have been issued to the key players in China to research and chalk out a timetable that will be practical to follow for transitioning to electric vehicles. Many governments have certainly played their part. It is now up to the car manufacturers to step up to the plate. Many OEMs, including the big three in the US, are putting their weight behind electric cars. The GM has successfully rolled out Chevy Volt and Bolt. Tesla is marching full steam and have orders for over 250,000 cars on their books, they've got their work cut out for the next two years at least. However, the organization that has shown a complete turnaround in its approach is Volkswagen. The German car giant has recently announced the Transform 2025 Plus strategy that focuses on the sale of 1 million electric vehicles per year by the year 2025. This number will be accounted for by around 30 different models right across the group brands. Chinese car manufacturers like BYD have also been able to carve a slice from this emerging market. And of course, we cannot discount the role of Elon Musk in this revolution. 
After all, it was his Tesla Motor Company that re-ventured into the electric car market when other big manufacturers had ditched the technology. Also notable mentions are Nissan with its Leaf and Toyota with its Prius that showed the world that electric cars are a profitable niche. And with this, the video on electric car revolution is completed. Hope you would have got the answer by now. That is electric car revolution. Yes, it's on its way. If you would like to see more such videos, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention.